Misha, what's good? <laughs> Gary, how you doing, man? I'm really well. This is wild. Happy to have you. This, this is part of like my whole thing of like being the luckiest person in the world. Like, literally, I've been in the deep end of Gary V. I've known about you for years, but like in the deep end of the pool for like three months. I love it. You know, and I told my what, friends, I'm like, how, what ha what happened? How did you do you know what the piece of content was that? Took you I, from the shallow end I love to the deep end. I love I love podcasts, and uh, I go for like a morning run every morning. And I, you know, you just kind of hype me up, and yeah. kind of like I like your energy, so it kind of gets me going. So, but how um, did you get into the first? That. I'm trying. I like learning. Like, what made you? Like, one day you were like, oh yeah, I kind of know this dude. I'm a little well, bit, and I'll just listen. And one podcast hit, and then it just no. Kept going. It's like yes. Um, I mean, I listen to a lot of different podcasts, and uh, I like the fact that you put out every day. Mm. So there's new new content because like I yeah. listen to Planet Money, but it's like once a week. And it's like all right, man, you know, there's 800 podcasts I already heard <laughs> all of them. So <laughs> with you, it's kind of like every day there's yeah. something new, and like even for the 15 minutes that I run, um, I don't run that much, like that far. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I know um, what you're saying. Go ahead, brother. So you were telling your friends? Yeah, I'm telling them like, hey, I'm about to talk to Gary V. They're like, how'd you land that? I'm like, I texted him. <laughs> you know, like there's the. <laughs> You know, there's the number like, yeah, I did it like 10 times, but like it is what it is, you know, so I just kind of but it's part of my luck. So That's like awesome. to kind of set up my two part question is like I was lucky to grow up in Ukraine until I was 12, like poor because um, that, you know, I grew up outside of the bubble of the U.S. and people don't get a lot of that. Um, like it's sad, but two, when I came here. Um, let me let me or, help everybody as a yeah. as a former Soviet boy too. When he, when he's saying it's sad, everybody who's watching right now, we're in the middle of a pandemic. There's we just lost 22 million jobs, and the structure of America is still such an uncomfortable level of opportunity compared to where yeah. me and this man come from, and most people come from. It is grossly underrated, and so are the other great democracies in the world, no matter what iteration they're in right now. Keep going. Um, so. I agree with you, but like when we when we came here, I was twelve and like thirteen, fourteen. Got right into construction because we had to help pay bills. Okay, and, of course, you know. So I grew up really quick, just working with you know fifty, sixty old old Ukrainians and just kind of going at it. I love um, it. So that was like and those dogs are dirty. Those dogs yeah, are dirty. It's like you know, we're doing roofing and they're like, hold my hand, <laughs> you know. So it's kind of like a lot of that stuff. Um, so I got to learn a lot in the trade and all that. Um, then to like, I like business and I think my parents are amazing. My family's amazing. And like, they kind of instilled in me, like I can do it, you know, a lot of that. Um, so my whole, of like, course, anybody who has got optimism and you can do it, thinks they're lucky. I knew that from the second you opened your first mouth, the first yeah. words out of your mouth. I'm like, Oh, this guy's optimistic. Like it, I see negative, like even t this situation today, I'm like, there's there's gonna be positive out of all of this. There's um, gonna be uncomfortable levels of positive. The, there's enormous amounts of people that are gonna lose wealth. For, take health off the equation. Anybody who loses somebody they care about during this pandemic, it's devastating. Yeah. Comma, in the framework of that we're talking about business, there's gonna be plenty of people that lose money. There's about to be people that are gonna make an enormous amount of money. There's yeah. so much opportunity. I mean, and also think about like people that we will save down the road 20 years from now, because now we're not naive that, you know, we're going to do germ games and things like that. Like we're going to start thinking about like what could kill an economy versus, you know, like a war or whatever. But yep. um, so, okay. Besides that, like I, my whole life, like I've kind of been chasing, like, I believe that I have like greatness inside of me. Like, I don't know, like if, no, I don't know if it. that's like naive or is that like I coffee? De but, like, I definitely know what you're talking about. I but get you know, it. like, I'm like, everything is so simple these days. It's like, I could go for a car ride with a, a friend of mine and I'm like, you know, we have this idea. It's like, dude, we should start a business. I'm like, let's do it this weekend. <laughs> you know, let's, let's get the website going. We can like get it. And, uh, and it's always, it's so simple these days. And it's almost for me as a person, it's, hard that it's so simple because like i can kind of lose my focus a lot so so but but don't don't judge yourself so what all you have to do is not make a big cre make a big statement when you start don't tell everybody like the way you protect yourself from being unfocused and stopping and starting is don't make a big statement that you're going to change the world with this app stay quiet for the first year 
Yeah. Instead of what most people that are optimistic like you and me do, which is the second they do something like this is gonna fucking, and then three weeks in they change their fucking mind and they're like, oh fuck, I just told, and you're gonna be the boy that cries wolf. So stop fucking crying. Yeah. So I you mean, see where I'm going though? I do. I, I I get it. I do like, you know, I should shut my mouth a little more and just. I know, do it. bro. I know who you are because I'm listening. That's why I just gave you that advice. Good news. You have an idea? Start on Saturday. You change your mind on Thursday because you're like, ah, fuck this. You're set because you didn't tell your mom, your dad, your best friends that this, you're yeah. gonna fucking be Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. Shut your fucking mouth. So, kind of to set up my question is like, I, so I was lucky that I felt like I, I got married super early and I had kids super early, but then at the same time I had my first son. He's three now. I started a business and I went like all in deep into the business because I was like. Hey man, I'm gonna get this going within the next three, four years. Like, I'll be freaking retired and I'll just focus <laughs> on my kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that's kinda, no. Listen, that's amazing. I'm like, I'll get this going. I'll get this done. And like, no. What's but, so amazing what, about that is it's so naive. Do you know what? Do you know what? Like, do you know how ludicrous? I w- I wish I was your homie and your crew. Like, I feel like every crew needs somebody like me. I would like look at you and be like, bro, what are you fucking talking about? In the Listen, history you know, of everybody life, will say extreme- like, dude, just hustle, just hustle, 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 and then you can, you know, manage the business. But that's, that's not like that's so that's stupid. I know. So I mean, that was one of the things that I've learned. Like, I, I got destroyed essentially my first time around. I got destroyed. That's good. And uh, basically, Why? what I got out of that experience. Well, Why? Because I'm, I rushed and I chased the home run versus the singles. So like, uh, I used to live in New York right now, I live in New Hampshire, but I used to live in New York and like, I got into this, um, with this dude, like, like renovating apartments. It was like this massive thing. Like, Hey, I'll give you 50 apartments to renovate. <laughs> I'm hiring people, hiring people. We're like a 12 dudes. I'm burning through like, you know, 15,000 a week, but a uh, dry account though, you know, like paycheck comes in, you just pay the people. Cause for me, it's like, Hey, I'm going to make it out of this. Um, but then the guy. I didn't, I, I didn't have a good infrastructure for like paperwork, <laughs> you know, a lot of that. So uh, the guy was just like, hey, man, as soon as he passed the inspection with the builder, he's like, hey, man, I don't like your work. You're off the site. And, you know, so that was kind of literally just bankrupted me right there. And there's nothing I could have done about that. But it's, it's fine because that's a huge learning experience from that. And, like, I walked away with that a better man. But what my issue is, is like I started a business again within you know i licked my wounds i kind of you know cried about it for a week whatever like it, it's okay Respect. to do that of course but, it is okay it is okay but within three months i had a new business and kind of i went being the best versus being the biggest so like right now we're doing bathroom renos and i just want to be the best bathroom renovation company like love that online or whatever i love that uh, but the negative that i got out of it once i start reflecting on it is like i missed almost a year of my kid's life you know Cause like looking at the pictures and stuff, like on my phone, it's all work, work, work. So like, bro, cause I've been like 80, bro, 20 family, bro, 80 bro, business. You bro, know? I don't know if you heard, there's no time machines. I know. But so like my thing is right now, like I love what you say is like, I do believe personally, I'm gonna live to like 120. Like I'm healthy, like I'm lucky again, I'm lucky. So I, I do feel like I'll miss the bus, you know, <laughs> like yep. won't hit me. Yep. Um, but I think for the next like 12 to 15 years, like me and my wife, who's a rock star, my wife, like she's my person and like literally, like she's the one I'll die next to, you know? Like, yeah. whatever. That's super um, nice. I love those couples where like the person, like the one person dies at 92 and yeah. the next person dies two weeks, four weeks later. That's the funny I know, that's, shit. That's, that's, it's, so we have like this thing, like let's focus on the family right now but for the next like 12 to 15 years because I know- because no, I, I know you. that, I you know you. what I'm saying? Like, I won't Do be it. able to get that stuff back. Good. No, no, that's super smart. I You're... have that itch, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so, still have that so itch audit, of like... Aud- Misha, that makes sense. So so audit everything else. Wait, what do you mean? What else do you do besides spend time with your family and work? No, and I'm, I'm being... No, 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 like, I'm, I, being re- I, I'm being real, real. Like, meaning, do you watch TV? I do like after eight o'clock, nine o'clock with my wife for an hour, you know? Okay, that's like, fair. And then what are you doing at 10 o'clock? I crash. <laughs> yeah, so like, but, and what time do you wake up? It's okay, like, let's play, let's play. This, I is, mean, not a, I wake this up, is not me, I'm trying to come from a love place. Let's break it down. Yeah. Like, break it down, because I wanna like, help. I'll wake up at Tell six. me the truth. I, want all, I need all real data, because if you give me fake data, then we fucking wasted your time. 
Give me all real data. What time do you go to sleep? Tell me the fucking truth. Like 11. 11. What time do you wake up? 536. I mean, my my son will wake up in the middle of the night, so I have to go in. Like, we live in a thousand square foot house. Yep, so you got to go. If I'm I'm up, the house is up. Okay, so so now break it down. They wake up, then what happens? How's what's your work day look like? I will make breakfast with them, which I yep. love, you know, That's like so we kind of yep. do all of that. We'll make breakfast, then I start running around the stores and yep. getting the things that I need for the jobs and um, get to work. And then, you know, I'll clock out mentally by like four o'clock because I do want to be home for dinner. I do want to be home to read the books to them. Like, I want to do all that. So, um, first of all, first of all, a couple of things. Do you know how epic it is to be a world-class father and just be a solid businessman? Yeah, that's, um, I, I'm happy. That's the thing, like, when I texted you the question, I'm like, I'm the happiest freaking person, like, in my life. But, like, there's that one, like, guy that just keeps poking me, and it's, like, the, the, the drive inside of me that, like, dude, go big, go big, go big. Yeah, I mean, 4 o'clock is, like, the second or third, like, maybe halftime not even half time for me, but I'm not gonna have the father, you know, like moments that you're gonna have. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm excited for him to be like five or six, and I get a plow truck and we freaking start plowing, you know, together and like doing all that stuff. Start yeah, teaching gets, him to hustle. So it gets really good when they get older, bro. There's nothing. I mean, like honestly, I admire you, and in a lot of ways envy you because we don't have unlimited time. You're right. There is no time machines. There's no going back to these moments. Um, I I think we have to stop judging ourselves. You know, you sound like a world class father with a real healthy work life balance, like a modern day healthy work life balance. I'm uh, a workaholic that you know balances family and extreme extremities of weekends and vacations, and and as long as there's love overlaying both, real love, not bullshit love, yeah. not checking the box then no, you know, like, everyone's yeah. gonna win. And like, that's just chemicals. Like, there's a big part of me that wishes there was a, my DNA could clock out at four o'clock. But I don't, that's the thing. Like, it's literally like well, well, being a workaholic you, though. So like, listen, oh. now you have to explain to me, are you doing that because you want to do that for your wife and for your parents or your friends to look at you and admire you that way? Or are you doing it because you're doing it for yourself? It's for myself because of, Bro, I've you're learned. making a choice, bro. You should no, it's for myself. Choice. Like I do know that. Um, so like, don't like don't don't create a fake narrative that you like the sound of it. You, I'm you not like, like I I do like you know I have self like reflection like I I can see what I'm like where I'm trending or whatever and like I am grateful for it being like mentally straight about that. You know, because I know that I won't get that back. Because, like, you know, 15 years from now, whatever, like, I can start and end, like, a multi-billion dollar business if I wanted to, you know? And where I can more guide my kids versus raise my kids. I think that's right. I think that's right. I think lately, because of you, you, again, like, because of you, what's been kind of, like, satisfying my itch is, like, the social media stuff. Because I can do that then at nine, at eight or nine o'clock online and, like, TikTok and all that stuff. So, like that then gives me a little bit of gratification if you know i do get a following because that's like it's an getting action. Big, it's action getting it's big action. you know it's like, action um, um so listen misha i am the byproduct of a father who i didn't see until i was 14. see he slept in the same house as me i didn't see him mm-hmm. and you know in that scenario wh- what was your situation with your dad so when i was eight my dad left to united states mm-hmm lived here for four years and then to get us over. to get us there because it's ain't cheap you know especially back then you have some debts so look, that you have look, to settle we're two boys that has scenarios with fathers that weren't around and we went we went two different directions you were affected in a way where you're like fuck that i'm not gonna have my kids feel that feeling and you've gone deep i loved it like i loved it and loved my dad the most and so i have enormous comfort and if i miss things or if I'm working and I don't see things, or if I'm not home for dinner, that I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. And guess what? Both are okay. Yeah. Your, your so kids that, one day, ready? Let's talk about real life. One day your kids at 22 will look at you and be like, Dad, we're the luckiest in the world. You were always around, that's amazing. Or 
they may look at you and say, Dad, you're around too much. Like, I don't have drive or ambition because even though you were saying things, you were home around all the time and I got that from somewhere else. My kids are gonna say, Dad, you showed me how to live. You know, by living your passion, it's made me so happy and I, all the good things we were doing in different times, I love that. Or they're gonna say, Dad, you weren't around enough and I resent you. Like, that's real talk. There's always two sides to every coin in life. What we need to do is do the best we can. We as parents, we as humans, we as children who have parents pressuring us to go to school and things of that nature or get this certain job. All we can do, all we can do, every one of us that's on here right now, all we can do is just do the best we can and make decisions and, and then live with those decisions and not dwell on them. We will make mistakes, we will make right decisions, we do not control our kids' DNA. Some kids are naturally self-confident, some are naturally insecure, regardless of how you parent them. There's a lot of things that we don't control and we need to be at ease with that. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they were born healthy and everything, we're like, we're good, you know? Like, 100%. So, like, you so know, that's, that's people, a massive There's people that have it. horrible relationships with their parents in the first 20 years because they're alcoholics or embezzlement or went to jail or hit their mom or, Ran away, yeah. or like, yeah, and then later reconcile. Like, like you know, don't be fear based on the parenting side either. Um, because you're yeah, gonna, I mean, you're gonna, cause if you are, then you're gonna, then you're gonna resent doing that. Right. You're gonna resent your kids keeping you away from your true calling, and it's not their fault; it's yours. But that's how you're gonna manifest it. That's what people do. Yeah. That's true. And then what I'm more worried about is that you would resent your loved ones that you're trying to look the part for or you're trying to make a point to your dad or things of that nature. This is important shit, brother. What I can tell you right now is you need to do what makes you happy and you know the answer, you just might be scared of the answer. Or this was just what you needed to triple down on what's going on, which by the way, there is no time machines to go back to your kids' dinners and reading books and soccer games and proms and I think that's amazing. I, I love it, it makes me happy. Yeah, I, I just want to have those life experiences for them and for myself, you so, know. So, so like, then, so then we won. So, part two of the like, I'm sorry, this is dragging on, but like part two is like then my a generic question for everybody, I guess, is like as a contractor, like I want to go the best route. How do I go about like branding myself and kind of going about producing content the, at scale? Filming every project from coast to coast, document it, get approval from the people's homes, you know, to share it, chop it up, put it on Pinterest and Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn, Twitter, at scale, YouTube, podcast, content, content, content. Every one of us is a media. When the fuck is everyone gonna understand we're all media companies and the more we produce and the better we get at it, the more good stuff will happen. And I sit here for a fucking decade, say the same fucking shit, 800 fucking thousand times over. It's the fucking answer. It's so easy too. Like it's so easy. I just, it. I just need you to take four to five p.m. to film that shit because I, don't, I still think no matter how young your kids are, five thirty is a good starting point too. Yeah. Or eleven thirty. You know, like I, know. I do audit, have to get audit, that. audit, 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 audit. Like that's why I think if I go niche but like small scale, then like the media stuff can then I more, have more time to do. You know, because then you can kind of focus on almost like two companies where media issue like situation and then like your actual business business especially contractors man you have so much content everything unlimited. you do unlimited. Like, on tiktok you'll Testo get it testimonials at scale you do good project the family lets you share the content and then the last scene is them saying you were fucking awesome that's why doing the right thing for customers is always right it builds your brand yeah we're gonna try out the zoom thing because my wife she does she does the design design so design build kind of chip and joanna game love it. DS stuff love it so like i think we're trying with today's situation again i'm trying to get the positive out of it like hey what if we do zoom meeting or live to yeah. help people like hey yeah. how do i start the bathroom i want to i want to sneak one more in before i'm out i love you brother yeah, take sorry, care man. no Appreciate it. nothing to be sorry about take care some are short some are long that was interesting <laughs>